Guys, welcome to tip two of five with the five totally effective non-cheesy ways to snap out of a quarantine funk. So if you're like most, man, you just don't feel like yourself during this quarantine, right? There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of things that we need to be cautious about, but one of the main drivers is just not feeling like you. So maybe you have a plan put together where you're able to go to the grocery store on certain days or order your food on certain days. You're able to get some alone time. Maybe you're reading more books, you're getting outside, but there's still some Something that feels off and who knows when the quarantine is going to be lifted but come that time whether it's sometime in May hopefully well but if it's even in June you want to feel like yourself even before that veil is lifted so yesterday we talked about tip one so I'm sharing five non cheesy totally effective ways to bust out of this quarantine funk that you're in and personally I shared my story yesterday so you can swipe back to yesterday's live video that I went through this a couple weeks ago and it was really really rough I did not I did not feel like myself at all and even typical things that I know to do being in wellness just weren't working for me and there was a part of me that just didn't even want to do anything I was in a funk and I just wanted to accept the fact but it kind of went on for a little bit too long. So I started practicing things that were most effective and that's what I'm sharing with you over the course of these five days. So Monday through Friday here on the Whole Hearty Facebook page, I also have this streaming into my Facebook groups um, and I'm gonna hop onto Instagram next. So yesterday, tip number one to overcome any quarantine funk is number one, to help someone. And we got into that yesterday. So a lot of times we focus on what's wrong with us, right? Our problems, everything that's everything that's going wrong, things that aren't good enough, um, things that we're we're making mistakes on. And the more we let that fester, the more what what you focus on grows. So the more you focus on everything that is just not working for you, it's going to continue to not work. So if you direct your thoughts and energy outwards towards helping other people, that is going to make you feel so much better and it's really intrinsic it's really automatic and it's a beautiful thing so go back to yesterday's video um, you can just go here if you're whatever page you're on it should be in the feed um, just scroll down and you'll see yesterday's video that was tip number one so tip number two guys is to commit to finishing something it doesn't have to be training for a race. It doesn't have to be a diet, like a 30 day or a 21 day. It doesn't have to be any sort, anything even related to health or wellness. Just commit to finishing something, all right? So I started reading a fiction book, which I never do. I am nonfiction through and through since junior high. I always read self-help and business and wellness and mindset books. It's just what I am driven towards. And I cannot even tell you the last time I, I read a fiction book. And I am committed to finishing Where the Crawdads Sing. And it's my first, first fiction book in years, years and years and years. And because I've committed to finish this book by the end of April, every night I'm reading it. On the weekends, I'm reading it. And it's just getting me so much more motivated. It's turning my mind into another magical world, right? It's out of my own reality. Um, so commit to finishing something. Maybe it's a puzzle. Maybe actually my husband has taken up juggling random um but he he got this sorry for this like crazy hair here he got this um bucket of tennis balls for the boys and he started juggling he knows how to juggle three but now he is committed to juggling four he's watching youtube videos he's practicing so there's that so think about things that you can commit to finishing and again it doesn't have to be training for a race it doesn't be committing to working out five days a week or only having a treat after dinner or meditating every day it doesn't even have to be wellness related so some things i had mentioned maybe it's um actually i have a client who's working Working on knitting right now so knitting a little bit every day or whatever your schedule looks like so that you can finish something by the end of April for example maybe it's a puzzle what else did I write down I, if you are watching live right now comment and give us some ideas of what you are going to do or you have already done to commit to finishing something during this quarantine maybe it's by the end of April maybe it's by May 15th maybe it's by the end of May just finishing something um, 
Um, let's see. Oh, a house project. Yes. Maybe it's painting some rooms of your house, or maybe it's, um, there's new pieces of furniture that you've been wanting to kind of finishing setting up a room, whether it's a bookshelf or a TV stand. That's something that we're actually working on too. Um, so, so think of something like that. That's a, it's a big way to show when you feel like you are in such a funk and nothing seems to be going your way and you're, it seems like Groundhog's Day almost, right? Maybe you are working full time or running your own business. You've got maybe anywhere from one, three, two, four kids at home. You're trying to e-learn with them, educating them. Maybe they're still in diapers and they're not potty trained yet. Maybe you have two boys like I do and at one moment they're just gloriously best friends and the next, you know, punches are thrown. So think about during your day how it, it's maybe starting to become a little monotonous, even if you don't have the perfect routine down, right? And it's just like, ah, oh, here we are again, right? I've got to wear this mask. I've got to order my groceries. I need to be careful. I can't, you know, see my friends physically. Um, man, kids are out of, are not in school. I can't go into the office. So really flipping the, it's flipping the script for the mindset, but I know it's hard and it's not going to happen overnight for you to start changing the way that you're thinking, but by starting with number one, helping someone else. And again, go back to that video. We give tons of ideas of, you know, dropping off a care package at someone's house, you know, setting, setting up, taking the initiative to set up a zoom call, making it a fun zoom call with a game. Um, and then tip number two here where you are committing to finishing something so that you have something to look forward to every day, that you have something to be excited about every day even if it's a puzzle even if it's a book it's just something that you are driven towards during the stay home mandate all right so I'm keeping these just to like five to ten minutes so again I would love to hear your comments comment in here and let us know what you are committed to finishing right what is it is it is it something like a craft or a house project is it something health or wellness related let us know because by you commenting here in the posting here in the comments and let Letting us know what you are committed to finishing that's going to inspire somebody else there might be somebody on here feeling so lost thinking i have no idea what i could commit to finish i i can't even think of anything but by looking in the comments and seeing you know planting an herb garden planting new flowers something like that you're really going to inspire somebody else to just get up off the couch or the desk chair and just put some excitement back into their day all right, so hope this was helpful. Feel free to share this with anyone. And again, I want to see your comments. I want to hear what you're going to do because it's going to help me too. All right, bye for now. And I will see you guys tomorrow with tip three. And sorry, I'm going to loop back in one more time. Um, if you guys want a uh, worksheet, like a, it's a three-page workbook on getting started to really create that vision of health that you are looking for, um, hop on over to wholehearty.com and there's a button at the top that says wellness planning guide. It's a 10-minute training, totally free and there is a planning guide that goes with it and it's really step one in the proprietary mind model that I've put together so and it's based on my training at Duke Health and integrated wellness and behavior change so hop on over to wholehearty.com and grab that planning guide because it will really spur some inspiration it'll help you become aware of what it is that you're looking to achieve what has been working what's not working what are some habits that you need to hold on to what are habits you need to let go of um, really really aligning it with your lifestyle and what's important to you. So hop on over to wholehearty.com, tap um, wellness planning guide at the top, and that's totally yours for free. Quick training, video training, and have your workbook with you through that training. All right, I hope this is helpful, and I will see you guys here tomorrow with tip number three. Bye.